Welcome back everybody to Nicky Power Nanto Space Engineers. A new ship has arrived from the Steam Workshop. It's called Sunrider MK4 and it's created by Arcanius. So let's passing by by that ship here. So this is here the ship. So I'm just gonna show you now the outside of the ship. So this is the front of the ship. It looks like a little like a, a little bit of a mouth. Well, here we can open the door. Just gonna show you that. It's not a hangar. It looks like it, but it isn't. It's just an entryway, which is uh, very well protected. I'm gonna close it off again. I'm just gonna show you later on the inside. So let's flying around a little bit up here. We have just also docking station for mining uh, ships or something else. Here we have the main bridge. It looks great, it has two cockpits, one here in the front and also some one here in the back. So it's a little bit more protected if you're gonna fly into the re-entry later on. Well, here on the side we have um, uh, a hangar on both sides. You can place some ships in there. Also on that side here. Well, here we have just some oxygen generators or farms. Well, down here we have just some turrets also on some rockets some rocket turrets so i'm just gonna fly a little bit around so here we have just a little bit of a landing gear well here are we are now in the back we have here just some massive thrusters and here just glowing red so you know this is here the back of the ship well and i think this is not all from the outside it does look uh, great and i'm gonna show you the inside of the ship i'm gonna start directly up here Here's just the one way where we can go in up to the bridge area. Well, on the side, we have just some cryopods. Also, on the right side here, we have a medical bay. Up here, we have the main bridge. Here's the first cockpit that have we seen before, and here's the second one. Down here, the stairs, we have just here a little bit of a window, so we can look down into the massive hangar you can... Put a rel relatively high ship in here. Through a little corridor up here over the hangar, you can see down into the hangar and also can continue. Here we have just some jump traps on the side, also some controls, maybe from the for the reactor which is here stored in. Here on the back, we have just a little bit of a room. Just gonna go now through here. We have here the living quarters for the crew. Just little rooms with some beds and also a window so you can look out in space. We have also a second room for the crew, just a little bit off here on the side, also with some beds, a window, and also just normal seats here. Well, let's continue on. Further down, we have just here a massive hallway. Just uh, continue. If you would go up there, you would lead directly to the living quarters. But I'm not gonna go there yet. So down here, we have just the front entrance that I have shown you before. Just here with the doors, so you just need to press here the button. And now it's gonna open up so you can go outside or do whatever you want. But I'm gonna close it off again. Like, oh, this is relatively loud. Like that, I'm gonna close it off again and continue now on. We can also go even a little bit further down, so you are now not really on the level of the hangar, just uh, one uh, block uh, higher than the ground level of the hangar. So here we have just some small reactors down there. That's this. So and here we can look into the refinery of the ship. Down here we can go into the hangar. Just gonna go now there directly in. Like here, this is just the hangar. It's relatively high. It does look great. In this direction here by the hangar, we can go to the reactor room or better the, the, to say the downside of the reactor room. We was later on uh, we was before up there, but now we are down here. Well, and here are just some controls and some gyroscopes. So now we are leading into the refinery of the ship. It's just here in the front area. It does look great. So I'm just going to open up here. Just a long hallway, but just so you can enter your cargo here. Also, here is just a little bit of fuel stored for the ship. Here in the hangar, we can go also a little bit further down. Just take me a little bit and here we are now on the downside of the ship. So here we have just also a little bit of a hidden control center or better say a, uh, a cockpit. 
And if you want to, you can close off here that door so you are more protected if an enemy is coming in or so. I'm gonna leave it like uh, open like that. So this is pretty much all of the ship and I'm gonna see you now in a moment we are near the planet. The heat is now rising on the outside of the ship. Also there will be fire breaking out in any moment. So the heat is still rising and now we have the fire. So let's see how well the ship is gonna go down and if we are losing some parts. Yes, we are losing some parts already. So there will be also the impact in any moment. Ooh, we're losing more and more parts. I think it's breaking apart. Ooh, this looks great. Uh, again, a little bit of lag. Ooh, now we have the impact of the ship. And there are also... Oh, the lag is real. Wow, what a nice impact. And I think there's still some parts falling down from the sky. Awesome. So let's see what the damage is. If it's gonna stay like that. Yes, I think this is here the bridge area, area which is uh, completely gone. Oh, I'm still sit sitting here. I'm just gonna... Well, the, the back part is still intact of the bridge. So the seat. So let's see. I think it's... Yeah, it's just completely ripped open. Oh, this does look bad. So this was here the hangar. Just completely away. Interestingly, the power is still up in the chip. Maybe from the small reactors. So, yeah, there are just some small reactors still left in the ship. So the front, even here, just is um, completely ripped open. Need a little corridor. So let's see if the living quarters are also completely destroyed. Yeah, also a little bit of a damage in the living quarters. And the other one, yeah, also. I mean, the bed is still there, but everything else is just completely ripped open and destroyed. So is the medical base still here? Yeah, and also all the cryopods are still there. Even the room here doesn't look that much of a damaged or does it no not that not really um so on the side we have lost pretty much all of the engines <laughs> funny thing the glass corridor is still intact but not the also the holes down here look great anyway i'm just gonna fly now a little bit away so we can see the damage a little bit better like that and I'm gonna see you in a moment where I'm gonna throw the ship down the mountain. I'm now on the mountain, so I'm just gonna spawn the ship in like that. And let's see how well it's gonna hold together. So here we have the first impact. Yes, and it's getting destroyed. Nice, so let's follow it down the mountain. Overall, it's holding now. We have lost one side on the back. The right side. Uh, no, the left side of the ship is ripped open. Wow. Wow, does look great. Oh, the bridge area is still intact. And it's getting more and more damage. Also, it's speeding relatively fast up. So, let's see. Wow, it's... We are losing more and more parts. It does look great. So, just gonna follow it a little bit here on the side. We are also near now to the bottom of the cliffs here. So, there's... Wow. I think the hangar is now completely ripped open, or better so it does look like it. Wow. But I think the living quarters are still intact, but we will see it also in a moment if it's gonna stop rolling. So, it's slowly coming to an end. Just really slow. Now also the bridge area is getting damaged with the slow rolling part here. Wow, now the whole floor came out from the hangar. So let's see, just gonna follow it a little bit more around so please stop now that would be nice it will stop in any moment and there's nothing really left i mean yes there is one jump drive left i can see here on the back so and also completely ripped open the cryo pods are so still uh still in there and the medical bay and uh, one seat is also left on top 
So let's see, down here we have just nothing left, just a little bit of a walkway. I just want to see if the living quarters, the living quarters are still somehow intact and the other one is uh, just completely also ripped open. So is there something, uh, if there's no reactor or so left? Well, this will be now the end of the video. If you want to download the chip for yourself, you can do that. I'll leave a link in the description down below um, to the Steam Workshop. Also have a link down for the re-entry and the speed mod. So leave a like if you want, subscribe to me or leave a comment. That would help me. And I'm gonna see you in my next video. Goodbye.